hey friends welcome to my youtube channel my name is labake and in this video i'll be showing you how to make this yummy delicious waste-free stress-free fried rice i'll be using the oven baked method in making this fried rice and trust me this method is amazing i like the fact that it's very stress-free and it's also waste-free so if you're looking to conserve on your rice, I would definitely recommend this method to you. I've tried this method in my other recipes as well, including making Nigerian jollof rice as well as pasta. And this method never disappoints. Are you new to this channel? Yay! Welcome! I actually enjoy you to subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on Instagram at Labake Cooks. I hope you like this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. You can also check out my old videos for some inspirations. Now, enough of all that talking. Let's get to the business of the day. So the first step is to wash your rice. Um, for this recipe, I'm using two and a half cups of rice. I'm going to give it a good wash because I'm not going to parboil this rice. I drain and set aside. The next step is to spread your washed rice in your baking pan. And then you start to add your ingredients. For this recipe, I'm using some chicken stock. I'm also adding some garlic powder. Also, depending on your taste level, you can add um, salt that um, suits your taste buds. But I li like to use my salt as little as possible. Um, I've also added some curry powder and some oregano. I'm also crushing two non chicken cubes. I had some canola oil. I don't like my oil to be too much, so I try to keep it as little as possible. Especially because I will still be using some oil to 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 fry the vegetables. And once I'm done, I add in some water. Um, this is very important because you don't want your rice to be soggy, so you make sure that the water is just a little bit above the rice level. This method would work irrespective of the size of the pan that you're using. Just make sure that it's above the rice level. That's very important. And you cover that um, in foil paper. I've already started to preheat my oven, so it's already preheated to 390 degrees Fahrenheit. While my rice is baking in the oven, I started to cut my ingredients. For this recipe, I'm using some air fried beef some prawns, um, spring onion leaves and scotch bonnets for some spiciness. I tried to cut my ingredient as little as possible because I want it to really blend in, in with the rice. I'm using some frozen prawns and removing the shells. I'll be cutting these prawns into tinier pieces as well. If you have tried this oven baked recipe in making any of your rice before, I'd like to hear from you and get some good feedback. I would have really appreciate that. And if you haven't tried it, please give it a try. I would definitely recommend it to you. 
now i'm also cutting my scotch bonnet into tiny pieces because i like my fried rice to be a little bit spicy and i don't want to use the chili pepper for this because that sort of changes the color i already have the mixed vegetable so i've just checked the rice in the oven after 25 minutes and you would know whether it's cooked or not by looking at it as you can see this rice is already is already dried up if it's still hard you can add a little more water but i like my rice to come out really nicely and not so gay now it's frying time um i'm going to be using avocado oil which i got from costco to fry my minced vegetables as well as the other ingredients I'll be giving that a good stir and I also want to garnish the um, mix vegetables with some salt and garlic powder just to give it some additional flavor and make everything go in there you know i steam that for two minutes and this is what it looks like after two minutes the next step is to start adding in the, the rice the baked rice and while doing this you want to make sure that you keep stirring so that it doesn't get burnt i really like this method because it minimizes the um the amount of burnt rice as you can see everything you just need to mix everything it doesn't get burnt at all it's all dry so there is no water to even make it burnt and then i cover that and simmer for some extra few minutes and this is what it looks like after that as you can see there is no sign of um burnt rice I'm going to be enjoying this fried rice with this um, grilled um, air fried chicken breast. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram at Labake Cooks. I hope you like it and see you in the next video. Bye for now.